defensive end and specifically limiting uh, your man, but four threes tonight, especially the big one late. I wonder what you saw in that play specifically. Just trying to be aggressive. Um, you know, kudos to LeBron and Russ. They were making plays down the stretch, um, you know, to get us the ball. And they just made a great play, and I was able to knock down a shot. It seemed like throughout the night, a lot of guys stepped up and did various things to, to the wins so that haven't been coming lately. How, how did you guys find a way to crystallize like that and kind of unite and find a way to win? I think just staying together, um, sticking with it, our game plan, um, playing hard on on the defensive defensive end. Um, you know, that's what got our offense going. And whenever we have that mindset, whenever we can stay together and play hard that way the entire game, I feel like we have a chance every single night. And um, we haven't been doing that. And tonight, you know, it was refreshing to finally see us put put together a full game of that. And even just the free throws that you had to make there, are, are you, uh, is there anything that you think about differently to focus in a clutch situation like that? Or are you try to just keep it simple? Same no, it's the same. I mean, this is a game. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy I had that opportunity to knock those down. And um, I was fortunate enough to knock both um, in, in crunch time. So I'm thankful for that. BG. Avery, when you guys win a game like this, what does that do for the team? And how does you guys feel? after the way the season has been going? Um, it, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, that's, I think we just broke an 11 game um, losing streak on the, on the road. Um, so it was a great accomplishment for us tonight to go out there and be, be able to play the right way and um, on both ends of the floor. It, it was really refreshing, man. Um, a great win, on to the next one. Kyle? Avery, um... You know, Russ has, has told us and, and several times, you know, it's it's been difficult and, and there's been some difficult moments, especially when it comes to how it's interacted with fans. How have you guys as a team um, tried to kind of keep him where he needs to be to be engaged with this team? And, and what do you think that meant to him tonight to be involved at, like that at the end of the game? I think um... – for us as his teammates, we just need to continue to stay confident in him. Um, you know, we're with him every single day, and um, we know all the work and preparation um, he puts in for each game, and we believe in him. And, um, you know, we try to instill that um, confidence in him. And for him, I think it's just keeping out all the, you know, the negativity. And fans are going to be fans. Um, we, we definitely appreciate them. But um, right now they're down because we're not playing the way we should be. Um, and they're on us as they should. Um, but it's it's for us to protect our own bubble and have confidence in each other and um, control what we can control. And that's us going out each and every game and playing as hard as we can and um, trying to get W's. Yeah. Avery, what was the defensive assignment like against against the Raptors tonight? It seemed like, you know, you guys have had a hard time, you know, obviously slowing teams down offensively over this stretch. What was – what was – what did you guys – what was the mindset coming in and, and what did you think? Um, I think it's simple. It's just effort. Um, we played harder. Um, we wanted it more. We played for each other. Um, every single possession, it was like every guy was down and, and guarding their guy. Um, whenever a team can play that way for an entire game, it's going to be hard for the other team to score. Dan? Hey, Avery. Um, the next game LeBron plays, there's a pretty good chance that he'll become the number two all-time leading scorer in this league. Um, you've been on the court for a lot of those points as an opponent and as a teammate. I'm curious, can you describe sort of the different ways that you've seen him score from maybe the first time you competed against him to, to the way he scored? I mean, even tonight, you know, hitting threes, fighting down the glass at the center, um, just kind of his evolution as an offensive player. I mean, it's it's amazing as you um, everyone's been able to see um, from even the start of his career, me being a fan, a kid in high school, to playing against him, and then now having the opportunity to play on his team. It's just incredible um, to now be a part of, and um, he's a special player, man. Um, to me, greatest ever. And then last question, George Richards. Hey, what's up, Avery? Um, wanted to ask you about. Um, that lineup with you, Austin, um, Win, uh, Winion, um, LeBron, you guys can switch everything. You're long. 
And then also you have another shot blocker on the on the on the back end with Winion. You know, I know Braun has been getting blocks. Just wanted to ask you about that group defensively and how you guys like how you guys were being able to switch and be long. Um, it, it was a great group. Um, like I said, a, a lot of it came from the effort. Um, us looking at each other um on the bench um before during the timeout and um telling um LeBron told each guy like you we need to buckle down and go out there and play hard for each other. Um, and that was our mindset, man. We just went out there and we competed at the end of the day, but, um, it was a fun lineup, man. Um, whenever you can switch one through five and have every guy, every guy compete, um, and then get, get out on the, on the break and create easy shots for each other. Um, that's fun basketball. Cool.